The Baltics, with its stunning views, amazing scenery, its crumbling castles, enchanting forests. For many, a trip out here is something of a fairy tale. These Northern European countries have very different cultures and history to discover. But it's their neighbour over to the east which brings them together. With over a hundred years of complicated history with Russia, these three Baltic states have found themselves constantly fighting for independence from Nazi and Soviet occupation. It was only until the early 1990s that they finally became free nations once again, and in 2004, these three countries joined NATO. This was the beginning of something new. With anxiety growing and tension brewing, as Russia continued to show aggressive military action, we headed out to Estonia to find out why British soldiers are leading a battle group along NATO's eastern flank. To find out what the British Army are doing in Estonia, we visited Tapa camp. Our journey from Tallinn to Tapa made it clear that this small Baltic country is vibrant and rich in culture. But as we entered Estonia's largest military base, the atmosphere was much different. We spoke with Lieutenant Colonel Shan, the commanding officer of the EFP battle group. Um, the British Army have been in Estonia since uh, 2017. Um, we've deployed part of a NATO mission and it's important we stand beside our NATO allies and partners across Europe. The British Army have a very long history um, with the Estonian Defence Forces, uh, starting, back, starting back in 1918 and more recently in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, we have a lot to learn from them how to operate in this cold weather climate and in the woods and forests of eastern Estonia and similarly we can um, also develop their understanding of armoured warfare out here in Estonia. This is Exercise Spring Storm, an annual training drill which sees Estonian conscripts mobilising as a simulated threat. The UK-led battle group acts as the opposing force, sending its armour and troops to a training ground in central Estonia. Spring Storm aims to test the readiness of NATO forces in responding to a fictional threat. This is just an example of the many ways that the UK and Allied troops deter foreign aggression. Walking around Tapa camp was eye-opening. The vast number of troops, tanks, armoured vehicles, you name it. It was clear that this small country was geared up. And understandably so, given Russia's patterns of occupation, for Estonians, having a repeat of their past gives them a sense of unease. From a very small age, you felt repressed and occupied. This was exactly how it was growing up in the Soviet Union. We have a neighbour who does not respect its own signature on international agreement, who is more and more openly asking for a change in the international value-based world order. The Baltics have found themselves constantly fighting for independence throughout history. In the early 1990s, the Soviet Union fell and the Baltics were once again free. But how serious is the threat that they face today? We don't see any imminent uh, uh, threat against any NATO ally, uh, but we see a more assertive Russia. A Russia which has uh, significantly uh, increased its military presence in uh, uh, this uh, region uh, and uh, which has invested heavily in uh, defence uh, military for many, many years. And uh, most importantly, uh, a Russia which uh, has been willing to use military force against uh, a neighbour, against Ukraine, and also against uh, Georgia. 2017 was a big step for the Baltic states and Poland, as it saw more than 4,000 troops deploy as part of the enhanced forward presence. This is part of demonstrating collective defence, that together we are stronger. Operation Cabrit is my first operational tour. I've been out to Canada a number of times uh, and done reasonably large exercises and swords be played as well so this is completely different for me it's exciting to be out somewhere with a purpose uh, and a mission and to be able to feel like you are helping both to protect nato as a whole but also to protect uk interests abroad 
The purpose of the Enhanced Forward Presence Battle Group is to integrate within the Estonian army. We're here to reassure them that NATO is strong and that the principle of collective defence really stands. And by doing so, we'll help to deter any foreign aggression or interference. The four multinational battle groups are led by the UK, Canada, Germany and the United States. They are combat ready and they are here to demonstrate the strength of the Alliance's bond. These battle groups form the biggest reinforcement of NATO's collective defence in a generation. For a lot of the British troops in Estonia, this deployment provides them with valuable skills and experience. To find out the type of training they get up to, we took a trip to a derelict part of Tapa Camp with Sergeant Stephen Knight. So what I have behind me here then is the urban training environment. This is close to Tapa Camp itself. We use this as it's a likely environment in which we would be fighting ourselves if we were to find ourselves in, in the urban operations. Um, the areas in and amongst woodland and marshland as well, so it's very similar to the sort of areas that we train on. The Estonians are very good at work in this area, we don't normally work like this in the UK. So uh, we're learning a lot of them, they're teaching us a lot of things and also we're helping them with their training. Uh, it assists us a lot in the way we work with our vehicles. Uh, they're used to this environment, so we're coming on leaps and bounds working with the Estonians, also the other foreign nations including the French and soon to be the Danish. So uh, today we've been working with the Danish, uh, clearing through uh, wood blocks, uh, checking for any enemy. It's been quite an eye opener, uh, seeing how the Danish work compared to how we work. Uh, it's quite interesting actually. It's been uh, really nice to uh, finally work with the Challenger. It's a big dominant force uh, on these uh, roads. We've been trying to uh, get from uh, A to B, uh, safe as possible, so that means uh, in this, this kind of wood. We have to do it uh, uh, dismounted with dismounted infantry, but uh, we still got to uh, dominate the uh, tracks along the, ro uh, uh, the roads, along the woods. Okay, so the Challenger 2 tank is a battle winning asset. Uh, the battle group rely on it to support not just infantry, but support uh, logistics as well if needs be. Uh, the only thing with the Challenger 2, it does drink a lot of fuel, so they need, we need their help just as much as they need our help. It's the first time here in Estonia working with the, the British forces, but uh, I've been in uh, Afghanistan where I've been working with the UK forces as well, but that was uh, pretty much other task back then. Estonia's long history with Russia is complicated, made even more so by the fact that the second largest population in Estonia is ethnic Russians. Right after the Baltics became free nations in 1991, a challenging question of citizenship was born. After being made to take language and history lessons, they felt second class. And since, Putin has publicly stated that it is Russia's intention to protect them. Strategically, we're looking at areas in Estonia that they may have never seen NATO soldiers, so places like Narva, which are quite close to the border where they're predominantly Russian-speaking and um, feel that we could have an effect here that they've never really dealt with NATO soldiers so they might not have the best uh, opinion or outlook on NATO troops so by going there and engaging and having conversations with them we can better help them understand what we're here to achieve while we're here in Estonia. It's important for NATO troops to have a good, in, uh, good relationship while we're here in Estonia with the population so that they understand should anything happen, should there be a crisis, that NATO troops would be here to, to defend them and secure the country. Our visit to this former Soviet military base really highlighted that NATO is still the most successful military alliance in the world and as a founding member, the UK remains committed to its allies. The current threat picture facing the UK is constantly evolving and by being out here, in Estonia, working with our allies uh, and working with our partner nations allows us to learn from each other and continue to build NATO as a credible deterrence uh, and a credible organisation. It is vitally important for the people of Estonia to help them 
be reassured and understand that their security while we're out here is of one of our most important factors while we're here in Estonia. By leading a combat ready battle group, it enhances Euro Atlantic security, reassures our allies, and deters potential adversaries. And ultimately, gives credence to the fact that an attack against one is an attack against all.